Venice is uh, extremely fragile. So the problem of Motondoso is that you have um, great impact and erosions on all the foundations of the canal sides and the buildings, from the Canal Grande to the smaller canals, uh, because the continuous passage creates waves and the waves impact on the sides and uh, they erode the fabric of the, of the walls. Worst kinds is really taxes, inevitably, because they are beautiful boats, but they go fast and they are uh, using, uh, you know, traditional diesel engines uh, still. Do people respect the speed limits generally? Uh, if we are around, yes. If they see us, uh, yes. But if we don't uh, stay there every time, everywhere, they go faster, faster and faster. The Venetian is a big problem because it's something that uh, hurts very badly the city. It's something that has to do inevitably with uh, the volume of, of transportation. Commuter boats, uh, taxis, transportation. So all of that creates a lot of pressure and uh, in, creates the problem of Motondoso. So we developed this uh, technology with the aim to reduce energy consumption drastically. So when flying we use 80% less uh, energy than any other powerboat. Uh, and then you get long electric range and, and high speed, but for Venice maybe the most important thing is that you don't have any wake. So uh, we're taking off here, just like an airplane. As you can see behind the boat, there's barely any wake. It's uh, 
the same kind of wake that you would expect from a rowing boat or a classic gondola, but we're driving fast and, and on electricity. So we think uh, this is the future for waterborne transportation if you want to go fast and you want to go far on pure electricity. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also, feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and be on the lookout for additional videos 